Hi folks, Lee Geddes here with the Market Sense for the week of November 6th, 2018. The charts in this presentation are provided to us by Genesis and their Trade Navigator software. We're going to start, as usual, with a weekly bond market chart here, but uh, before we get started, I want to let everybody know that at the time I'm recording this, I do not know the results for the Tuesday night election. You likely will have a pretty good clue what the results are by the time you hear this. Anything I say could be changed drastically depending on what those results are, and I don't even know how. I don't know what results would mean what other than I think the Republicans losing control would probably be a negative for both markets. But either result, any result could impact the mar either of the markets, and I really don't know how. So I'm going to pretend that isn't happening, but it is a factor. So, you know, if you know more about the election than I do when you hear this, take that into consideration. Now, in looking at the bonds here, um, they're, they're down in an area of support, but this is not good support. It's kind of a little above the previous close, and it's just sort of a squirrely area here. So the only thing that really looks like support this week is down here around 136.08, which is an interesting area because it would be a marginal new low below this low. Now, if they take out that low, chances are they'll go substantially lower. But if they don't, if they only go marginally lower and seem to stall without going much below 3608, that could be really interesting. Because that could mean that this is just part of a sideways pattern and they're just testing the low. And if that's the case, the next move is probably to go back and test the highs. So I'm really interested in this support, but not aggressively. I want to see what they do down there. The best resistance is probably 138.12 here at the middle moving average. If they like the results of the election, we could see them to 39.16. I should say there's also an FOMC meeting this week a couple days after the election, but Thursday the Fed will announce what they're going to do with interest rates, and that could have an impact also. Uh, but for now, the, I'm, I'm really interested in the 3608 area if they take out this old low here, and the uh, resistance 3812, maybe 3916. Uh, 3916 is a little more interesting to sell, but not real anxious to sell if they start to rally. Stocks, well, uh, gosh, they've calmed down a little bit after some really big weeks. That is to be expected. Uh, the support, eh, it's not really support, but the, the green moving average here is basically right at last week's close. And so they've opened and didn't spend much time below it, and they've started to go above it. That's a, that's a positive sign and could be continued. The only thing that concerns me is if they get up to the upper moving average here, this resistance is around 2790. And if you look at our momentum indicator down here, it looks like by the time they get up there, this indicator might be kissing its moving average up here. That often can be a pretty good indication that they're going to go back down and test the lows. So Again, this is an area where I wouldn't aggressively be looking to sell up here, but I would be monitoring the 2790 area very closely just to see if there's appears to be stalling up there because that might be a really good opportunity. If they break down lower instead, this lower moving average down here is 2658. I, I, you know, I wouldn't really expect that to hold, but I wouldn't rule it out either. Um, so I guess I'm kind of in wait-and-see mode because, again, you have the election results and then you have the FOMC meeting this week, and both of those are really, really tough wild cards. They can create quick gyrations. Uh, so th at no point would I have orders sitting in the market. I'd have to wait and see how they react at any of these areas before I want to do anything. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable to get yourself into, and I sincerely hope you win.